Good morning and welcome to the Easter Sunrise Service at Ackworth United Methodist Church. This was recorded in advance in order for us to keep social distance from one another. And I pray that you are blessed in the sharing of this Easter Sunrise time together. Christ has risen. Christ has risen indeed. My name is James Gwynn. I'm one of the pastors at Ackworth United Methodist Church. I welcome you to this time of worship. Uh, Charles and Vicki Fry are joining me at this time. They're not joining me here physically, but we're going to record their part later and uh, to make this service uh, as meaningful as possible as we can for you. We're standing here at the amphitheater at Ackworth United Methodist Church overlooking a beautiful Lake Ackworth over this way. We're recording this uh, during Holy Week, and I'm glad that you joined us. And let us begin with the mystery of that first sunrise on Easter. From the 20th chapter of John, beginning in verse 1. On Sunday morning, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. She ran to Simon Peter and to Jesus' favorite disciple, and said, They have taken the Lord from the tomb. We don't know where they've put him. Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. They ran side by side until the other disciple ran faster than Peter and got there first. He bent over, saw the strips of linen cloth lying inside the tomb, but he did not go in. When Simon Peter got there, he went into the tomb. He saw the strips of cloth. He also saw the piece of cloth that had been used to cover Jesus' face. It was rolled up and in a place by itself. The disciple who got there first then went into the tomb. When he saw it, he believed. At that time, Peter and the other disciple did not know that the scriptures said Jesus would rise to life. So the two of them went back to the other disciples. I pray that you're blessed in the reading of this exciting story. I think back to that very first Easter and I think, was it really that exciting? And my answer is probably not. Probably not because they're in the midst of grief and mourning and have a job to do. That's why Mary and the others went to the tomb so early that first morning. They wanted to give Jesus a proper burial that they didn't have time to do on the Friday before. So when they showed up and the tomb was empty, the first thought is the officials have stolen the body and have done something with it, perhaps desecrated it in some way. They didn't know what to do about it. They didn't know how to go about getting it back. Their minds were racing. So instead they got 
Peter and the disciple who Jesus loved, his favorite disciple. We classically believe that's John who wrote this gospel and tells us this story. Went back and got them, and they then have a foot race to the tomb. Now running in the dark, one of them running faster than the other, those are details in the story that just mystify me. It tends to be the story of someone who either wrote this because they were there or heard this story and wrote it down because it was told by one of the original disciples. But the fact that John gets there first and he looks inside and sees it the way it is, Peter then goes the rest of the way in when he finally gets there, then John follows him. But the key moment is when John sees the linens rolled up, he enters the empty tomb and it says he believed. You know, here on this Easter sunrise worship service, my prayer is that you would join me and Peter and John and Mary at the tomb. I pray that if you'll join me as we look into that tomb again this morning as the sun is coming up over my shoulder, that you too will realize that Jesus Christ has been unleashed on the world and on the cosmos. That Jesus is available for you this morning the same way he was to them on that first morning filled with darkness and confusion. And as the light comes up on us this morning, as it comes up on you wherever you are, I pray that that light of Jesus Christ, the hope that comes from Easter morning, that one moment in human history that changed everything for me and I pray helps change everything for you is a moment that you can experience either the first time this morning or for the hundredth time this morning. That Jesus Christ is alive. That Jesus Christ loves you and me. That we fall far short of his glory. We don't deserve it and we can't earn it. But as we look in the empty tomb, we see that it is freely given to us. Jesus reaches back to us each and every day to say that he loves you, forgives you, sets you free, gives us a purpose that's not just related to this world and staying safe from the coronavirus, but gives us a sense of purpose that is eternal, that we are commanded by Jesus Christ to love God and to love one another. May that be your Easter experience this morning. This is our sunrise service. We're gonna be streaming a 10 o'clock service as well. I'm gonna invite Charles and Vicki to play a song in just a minute, but before they do that, let's have an Easter prayer together. Let us pray. God, I thank you for this morning and this time and this place. Lord, Easter is the defining moment of all humanity. And so Lord, for each of us here this morning, let us look into the empty tomb and realize that Easter has not been canceled, that you are alive, and that you are with us wherever we are, right here, right now. Lord, that you will touch us and forgive our sins, places that we have fallen short of your glory and continue to fall short of your glory. Lord, that you will speak to us, that you will call us and tell us that we have been called to follow you, to trust in you, and that there's a higher purpose for our lives. Lord, that we will experience Easter despite the fact that this uh, infection is keeping us sequestered. Lord, you have come anyway. And similar to the disciples locked in the upper room, many of us find ourselves locked in our homes. Lord, bless us this day. Bless our families. Bless all of those who are locked up and staying safe. And Lord, we pray that you will bless us. Bless us all. Come to us again, and these things we ask, Jesus, in your holy and living name. Amen. We knew he was dead, it is finished, he said. We had watched as his life ebbed away. Then we all stood around till the guards took him down. Joseph begged for his body that day. It was late afternoon when we got to the tomb, wrapped his body in gray clothes and spies. 
We laid him to rest. He had given his best. He had loved us and paid a big price. I've just seen Jesus. I tell you, he's alive. I've just seen Jesus, my precious Lord alive. Just before dawn, I was running along, barely able to see where to go. For the tears in my eyes and the dusky sunrise seemed to cloud up my vision so. It was his voice I first heard, those kind, gentle words, Asking what was my reason for tears And I sobbed in despair My Lord is not here He said, child, it is I I am here I've just seen Jesus I tell you he's alive I've just seen Jesus, my precious Lord alive, and I knew he really saw me too, as if till now I'd never lived. All It was a regular day, I was making my way down the road in the dust and the heat. Not much on my mind, wasn't trying to find a purposeful path for my feet. Just a regular day, neither sunny or gray, and I'd learn to expect I thought dreams were for fools, and I knew all the rules. I'd heard empty statements before. Then I saw Jesus. I tell you, he's alive. Then I saw Jesus, my friend. Precious Lord alive, and I knew He really saw me too, as if to know I'd never leave 
all that I've done before won't matter anymore. I've just seen Jesus. I've just seen Jesus. And I'll never be the same. God bless you this day and stay safe, my friends. I serve a risen Savior, he's in the world today. I know that he is leaving whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy, I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I meet him, he's always here. He lives, he lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. And talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives, he lives in my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and speak. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along my step away. He lives, He lives, salvation to Him. Happy Easter to all our friends at Ackworth United Methodist Church. Our Savior is risen.